Okay, I'm gonna go over real quick how to share CC with other people. So this could be one lesson plan, a whole week of lessons, um, your unit timeline, a month. Also, if you want to collaborate with someone in your plan book, if you need to submit plans, if you need to send plans to a sub. So I'm just gonna go over all the ways that you can tackle all of these situations. So what you wanna do is go to your share button. So you can find the share button in the different views and you have several options. The first one is email link. And this is where you can email a link to your lesson plans directly from CC. So when you click on that, first, if you haven't done this before, it will just ask for your permission um, so someone can be your plan book. So you'll just hit, yeah, you want to allow that. And then you'll enter in the email address of whoever you want to see the week or the day that you are currently on in your plan book. So let's say you need to submit weekly lesson plans to an admin. So every week you can just go in and hit that email link, you put in their address, you send them the email, and what they will receive is a link to that week only and they can't edit, they can't comment or mess around with anything in your plan book. They can't see any other weeks. They're only seeing that week that you send them and that's it. Other things you might wanna use this for is if you have a sub, you could enter in their email address and send it to them. And again, they're only going to see the week or day that you send them and that's it. They won't be able to comment or edit anything in your plan book. Other options in the share menu is the copy link. So maybe you have to submit plans by pasting a link into a Google Doc or an LMS. You can copy that link to this week and then just paste it in that document. And again, whoever is opening that link, they're only able to view it. They can't comment or make edits or anything like that in your plan book and it's only to that week or day that you choose to send. You can also share with school or colleagues. So if you click on this option, first you have the public link and you can again copy that link to paste it somewhere or you can email it directly to someone. I know we have some teachers that just email the link to their plan book at the beginning of the year and that way their admin can check all their lesson plans weekly without having to send them a link every week. So you can do that if you would like to. Again, this is a view only. They can't comment or edit or mess with anything in your plan book. If you actually want to add a collaborator, so if you have a co-teacher or maybe a grade level team where you're working on lesson plans together and kind of dividing up the work, you can add collaborators. So you can add an individual. So you just put in their email address and then you give them the editing permissions you want them to have. If you only want them to view your plan book, you just set that. But if you want them to be able to comment or edit and manage, then you would wanna give them those permissions and you can update these permissions at any time. So after you send that, they'll get an email and they'll be invited to join your plan book. If they don't have a CC account already, they'll just have to set one up and then they can join you in your plan book. Okay, so other options, I'm gonna go back to share. You can share with students and families. So this is where you can actually create a class website. So what you wanna do is click on that and then you can um, title the website, whatever you want, edit the URL if you want to, and then this is where you select your courses or classes that are gonna show up on that website. So if you are an elementary teacher, you might want to select all of your subjects. So English, math, science, social studies, because that link is gonna go out to the same parents or families and the same students, because you have them the whole day. So you might wanna put all of those courses into your one class website. If you are a secondary teacher, you might create a class website for each class that you have. Like period one will have their own website, period two would have their own website, period three will have their own website because those are different families and different groups of students. But let's say for this class, um, this is for this class, and then you can copy the URL, and there you go, voila, it's done. Your families, your students that you send this link to, they don't need a password, they don't need a login, 
and you'll be able to choose what you want to actually show up on that class website. They won't be able to see everything in your plan book if you don't want them to. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the day view here and just show you how you can share an individual lesson. So you can click on your lesson menu and you can share a link to that individual lesson if you want to. And again, whoever gets that is only gonna be able to see that lesson. Um, if you have a sub for a day, you can share that link for the sub right in the day menu. But also it might be easier if you go to the share menu and you can just email that link directly from CC right to your sub. And then you don't have to go paste it or go anywhere else. You can just do it right there. All right, so that was a really quick overview of all the ways that you can share your plan book or lessons with admins or subs or co-teachers or students and families. If you have questions about any of this or if you want um, some more detail about how to share in any of these ways, make sure you reach out to us at support at commoncurriculum.com.